when intellectuals fight with style for glamour. When intellectuals decide that they're an intellectual. When an intellectual recognizes that they're an intellectual, then they become a freak because they're one of the only streams of consciousness on this planet that actually pay attention to anything that's actually happening. And thus, they have certain perks like avoiding scams, you know, not getting in a bad relationship or a relationship at all. And sometimes it involves things like, you know, getting overweight or making yourself so appalling that you aren't appealing to any of the people out there that are so attuned with themselves and the way they look and everything that they're doing and being so great and successful and so sensational in their enclosed little narcissistic, egotistical world of nothing, of filth, of just facts and opinions and all mixed around in a big toilet bowl of poo-poo diarrhea delight. And that's what you get. And that's what you get when you discover the world of intellectuals. And all of the things that they do. And all of the things they sell you. And all of the things they create for you and us. And us and them to be able to be pertainable to everybody in one shape or another. To take advantage of any nook or cranny to be able to make themselves money. But you know. We need something interesting. We need something to focus our eyes on. We are part of a group. We're part of a generation. We're going somewhere. We have a reason in our existence, and it's called interesting things to talk about. But not everybody can come up with interesting things to talk about, let alone dial into a subject matter that's worthy of heat or thoughts or really anything of that nature. But sometimes something might appear a little bit deserving or a little bit out of the ordinary. And so then it's either condemned or slightly praised, depending on how sensational it is. And that just shows you, you know, all of it just shows you the big fight that's happening. It's a big fight. And what is what is the prize? Your self-esteem. You, you being able to stand on the mountain. You're the king of the hill. You're the king of the universe. You're the king of everything because you proved that you are smarter than another person, that you have an edge, that you have something to say that's out of reach of another living organism that was born under the same circumstances. You are somehow the one, the one sperm cell to rule them all, wrap it around my finger and make me go invisible, indivisible, for the purpose of Frodo Baggins demolishing the entire subject matter in the volcano. And so we destroy the realm of good and evil and the realm of all of these crazy characters and people and figures of our imagination and an epic story on the big screen with a nostalgic splattering that you still remember. But this isn't about the Lord of the Rings. This is about the glamour you get from fighting with all you got, your brain, your hope, your facts, your memories, your emotions, your deep thought, cutting edge personality that can cut so deep. And if someone takes a strike at you, you cut so deep because you're smart and you know what the hell is going on. You have conquered so many learning curves. You. <laughs> and that's what you're here for. This is what you're here to do. So you might as well go in, balls blazing. Ready to get bruised, beaten, bloody. Bounce off the walls. You're in the fight of your life. And your brain is in a cage. Being poked with salamanders and thermostats and any other weird little things that the world can throw its way because the world is a really weird place with a lot of different crazy weird thought patterns and you got to be able to overcome that you got to be the one ant hill to rule them all you got to be the one ant that kills all the other ants because really we're just like a disease we're just like a bacterial infestation on a on a rock somewhere who knows so damn
I don't mean to make you feel so small because you are hugely impactful intellectual. Impact intellect, corporation. You know what's going on. 